When we think of dinosaurs, especially dinosaurs like Velociraptors and Tyrannosaurus rex, we usually picture them kind of living in a hot, tropical, jungly environment. Well, a new study has cast some doubt on whether that was actually reality or not. And in fact, this new study has shown that dinosaurs were living in pretty cold environments, including up in Alaska, and that includes Tyrannosaurus rex. So perhaps dinosaurs were not so cold-blooded as we thought. Maybe they did have the ability to regulate their temperature because this new study shows that they were able to live in some pretty cold environments. And, you know, we kind of used to think of dinosaurs as lizards, and now I think that's kind of shifted to thinking they're more related to birds and that kind of birds are more modern dinosaurs than even an alligator or a reptile or some kind of uh, lizard is. And so instead of thinking of kind of like an alligator or a lizard or a snake or something as very closely related to dinosaurs, I think the chicken is actually maybe the thing that we can think about that's the most closely related to dinosaurs. I'm not 100% sure about that, but if you think of a chicken, you think of a bird that has feathers and stuff like that, maybe it is possible for these dinosaurs to live in these environments, and maybe that's why they're able to do that. So our conception of dinosaurs, no matter what, has to change because of this study, and that's why I want to talk about it today. And so let's take a look at this article from Arizona Public Media. They say, dinosaurs are often depicted as large beasts roaming through tropical forests or across hot deserts. And the humid jungle of Jurassic Park may have gone a long way to solidify those images. Yeah, thanks, Michael Crichton. By the way, one of my favorite authors. But a study out today in the journal Current Biology contradicts those ideas. It suggests that these creatures also lived year-round in what's now northern Alaska, where they endured freezing winters, snow, and months of darkness. Basically, these animals were living at an extreme we didn't think they could live at. Gregory Erickson, a biological science professor at Florida State University and co-author of the study, tells NPR's All Things Considered. A key piece of evidence behind his research team's claim is a new collection of bones and teeth from infant dinosaurs dating back to more than 70 million years ago. Scientists began to unearth dinosaur fossils in the polar regions of the planet in the 1950s. Those findings raised the question of whether dinosaurs lived in the Arctic and Antarctic year-round, or if they wandered there seasonally in search of food. But deposits of baby teeth and adolescent bones point to a more permanent residence. So we found evidence of dinosaurs in these cold places before, but it was kind of hypothesized before this that dinosaurs could live in these cold conditions only part of the time and kind of migrate like birds do now to make sure that they could survive. However, based on this study, it looks like these dinosaurs were living in those locations year round. I mean, frankly, we were stunned when we found all these different types of dinosaurs. It was like a prehistoric maternity ward up there, Erickson says. Erickson, along with fellow researchers Patrick Druckenmiller, Donald Brinkman, Caleb Brown, and Jalen Eberly, traveled four days by car, plane, and boat to get to northern Alaska near the Arctic coast. Even then, some of the excavation sites were only accessible by rappelling off a cliff. They made this trek every August for a decade to collect evidence for their study. And after scraping through the sediment on the banks of the Colville River using dental tools, researchers found the remains of seven different species, including baby tyrannosaurs, duck-billed dinosaurs like hadrosaurids, and triceratops relatives. Given the long incubation times of dinosaur eggs, three to six months for some of the species they identified, the scientists say these dinosaurs must have been year-round residents, and that's the key of this study. There really wasn't enough time to both lay the eggs, incubate them, hatch them, and then make that seasonal migration to a warmer location, says Michael Deimich, an associate professor of biology at Adelphi University. Deimich wasn't part of the study, but as a fellow dinosaur researcher, he says what impressed him about Erickson's group was not just the find itself, but how tedious the entire process was, from traveling to the Arctic coast for a short window of excavation to collecting more than a ton of sediment. So it's very interesting that basically they found all these dinosaur fossils up in northern Alaska and in the Arctic, and 
again, there wasn't enough time for them to lay their eggs there, incubate them, hatch them, and also migrate back and forth from a warmer climate. So apparently, according to this study, we need to rethink the way we think about dinosaurs. And any time a study can do that for us, I think that is really exciting. And that's why we think about and do science and look at science and we're interested in it. This is changing our perspective on what a dinosaur was like, including species like Tyrannosaurus rex that we all kind of think of by default. And so I think these kind of perspective shifts are very interesting. I'm sure there's going to be a lot more of them to come in the near future. And I will keep sharing them with you as I come across them as well. In fact, I post a new video like this every single day, Monday through Friday at 7 a.m. Eastern time. So if you enjoyed this video, join me every weekday in the morning while you get ready for work or school to talk about a different topic like this and kind of shift our perspective a little bit. And either way, whether you just wanted to watch this video or you want to join me every morning, I'm Jim Wolf, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.